What's up guys, Clay Hughes here. I wanted to make a quick video for you. Um, show you my neat little um, curing station I've made. Uh, I'm about to do some uh, alumahide and uh, later on I might try to get into some Cerakote, Duracote type of, a, type of a finish on some gun parts. But for now what I'm going to start off with is, uh, is alumahide. alumahide. Just try to, you know, kind of get a feel for it. So, this rig um, this first batch is going to be magazines. I just want to kind of get a feel for them. So I needed a way, the, the instructions on Lumahide say it's going to take um, like two weeks to cure or some ridiculous amount of time. So I needed a way that they could uh, they could safely dry, not be touched. And I'm also going to do a little bit of oven curing as well. So I tried to think, well, what's the cheapest thing I could do to put something nice together that would hold them securely for that length of time? And I, this is what I came up with. This is basically uh, about $15 worth of just stuff. Um, I got the, this. This is a pie, uh, like a pie, a, a pizza pie pan. Um, I bought it at Dollar General for $4.50. Uh, this was a 36 inch uh, single piece of, uh, of angled metal that's uh, already perforated. I think it was like four bucks, and then I bought two 36-inch uh, sections of uh, eight-inch wire, uh, which were about two dollars a piece. So I didn't spend a whole lot of money on this, um, and then I've got these, uh, these lag bolts. So let me let me just go through this, and I'll show you I'll show you all the different parts of it. To start off with, I'll show you the base of it. This is just a, a pizza pan that um, I've, I've turned upside down because I'm using these carriage bolts. And these carriage bolts, I didn't want the head of it to, to be sticking down below the bottom of the pan. That way when I slide it in and out of the oven or try to move it around or anything like that, then it would be a nice smooth surface. So this, this is what it's actually going to be sitting on, this outer rim. And uh, just a couple of washers and... Uh, some nuts and then now I've got pretty decent sturdy studs sticking up. Uh, jam nut uh, kind of style just nut, washer, the uh, mounting bracket then another washer and a nut and uh, I can adjust the height up or down depending on what I'm actually going to be curing um, I, can, I can adjust that. I took this piece of metal to my bench grinder and I just ground a little divot um, on every other one of these holes. That way I can put my uh, mounting rods or whatever we want to call them. That way I can put these in there and they'll sit nicely in that groove and I mean as long as you're not you know being real rough with it then it'll keep it it'll keep it where it's supposed to be. I took these uh, Took these, used my bench vise, just kind of bent it at a 45 degree angle, flipped it around, bent it back, flipped it around, bent it back again. Gave me this, you know, kind of stepped pattern. You see here, some of them I did, you know, pretty decently. Some of them are kind of, kind of weak. Um, they're not meant to be, you know, pretty. Uh, this isn't something I'm selling. This is something I'm, I'm using. I'm going to cover it in paint, bake it in the oven, and then you know, I'll have my finished product. So you see here, I've got uh, got an old mag, and uh, this will be one of the first things that I actually do test run with this. So we'll see how well it works. But the reason I bent these this way is because that makes a nice little drop down, where that magazine is going to want to find its way to the to the center. So it shouldn't keyword um, it shouldn't get jostled around very much and hit the sides. You see, this lip keeps this from going too far over and also the other the other end. So each end keeps it from traveling too far and then this keeps the magazine from sliding around too much. So I think that'll work out pretty well for what I'm trying to do. Um, it holds them all on here quite nicely. So that's it. I just wanted to show you real quickly. I didn't. I didn't film actually making it or anything. It was just kind of a threw it together as I was picturing it in my head, and, and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So, um, 
But I'm going to film the uh, actual alumahide, and uh, hopefully that'll turn out really well. I'll uh, I'll uh, show that to you guys as soon as I uh, as soon as it get made. Thanks for watching. Let's try this full. I think that'll work for painting, don't you?